All right, here we are looking at our PVC build of the air-powered rocket launcher. All right, there's an air-powered rocket launcher right there. Let me walk you through the components. We're gonna start here at the top. So all the piping on here is a three-quarter inch. So that's a three-quarter inch end cap going on to a three-quarter inch riser right there. Bought it at Home Depot. It's a 12-inch uh, riser used for sprinkler systems. About a buck fifty or so at Home Depot. There is a three-quarter inch elbow feeding into a four-inch riser piece right here. Now, the reason with these risers is they had uh, screw uh, male ends on both sides. And the reason being is they're supposed to be Schedule 80 PVS, PV, PVC, so should be much better than the Schedule 40 stuff. So far, I've got it up to 110 PSI without any problems. Um, but um, as I'll talk about later, diminishing returns on this particular setup is about 70 PSI. So there's no real reason to go much above that unless you want to like blow up your rocket or if your rocket's much heavier. So here we have a T-joint, again, Schedule 40 PVC. And that connects here to another four inch piece that will connect now to our sprinkler valve, which is a three quarter inch opening. That now goes to a three quarter inch reducer right here, which feeds into a one half inch elbow with a male female, another male female elbow, which allows us to articulate in all sorts of directions. So we can aim and shoot this wherever we want, depending on how winds are blowing or where people are, how we want to reposition where um, our rocket ends up. And then this is a one foot riser again. Um, this is a half inch now um, diameter. Okay, so the main pipes are three quarter inch um, diameter. Now when we finish this off from the T, you have another four inch, so two four inch sections here, another quarter in, or three quarter inch elbow, schedule 40 PVC, another one foot riser, feeding into now we have some of our steel components here so this is a three quarter inch to one half um, connector make sure that when you're connecting pvc to metal the pvc always goes inside the metal very important also all of our joints um, that have pressure so this whole system right in here all the way over they all have teflon tape um, screwed together uh, these ones here, there's no need for Teflon tape. Um, there's just no pressure. It's just air pushing through. Doesn't seem to be a problem. So again, coming back here, we have our one half inch connector here. And I have our one half to one quarter um, adapter, a one quarter to one eighth adapter, and then our Schrader valve that we got separately. So this is a separate Schrader valve. It has a one eighth inch connector, and then that connects up to our um, one quarter, one half, and then to our three quarter all the way up. Um, and it seems to work again, 50 to 70 PSI, get pretty good launches. Even 30 PSI will do some pretty powerful stuff. 20 even um, will launch it a good 50 feet in the air. I wouldn't recommend doing that in the house. In the house, maybe 10, 15 PSI at most. Now to our electrical. It's our electrical component. Um, this is our uh, prototype so far. We're gonna put a push button on here eventually. Maybe I'll take a video of that later but it works pretty simply. So it's just a light switch. It's all wired up inside with a nine volt battery. You flip that and it turns on the air. Oh, it lets the air flow through. So you push that and it launches up, powers on, it opens up the, the, the valve there. So if you can hear maybe that switch sound, that's the valve turning on. Um, I've got it connected up to about uh, six feet of, of uh, ele electrical wire um, and just connected these together um, using the twist tie joints and then wrap it up with electrical tape. Holds up pretty well. Make sure you wrap up the ties around right there. That really helps out as well. So if you wrap that up, now you can have your uh, joints tied up really, really well. Um, there's no real worry about this coming apart. Um, and so there it is, this just the blue box. So this whole thing, about a buck fifty um, at your local hardware store. 
light switches run about 75, 80 cents. Um, the face plate about a quarter to a 30 cents. And then this plate right here, uh, maybe another 50 cents at best. Um, and then it comes with all the screws and everything you need to put it together. And it's really durable, it can fall around. Um, it's not gonna, gonna go anywhere. Uh, my next goal is to put a little push button switch. So when you flip this switch, it activates the system and you push a button to launch. Um, we just find that that might be more more fun for the for the kids. So there it is. Um, again, you just need a bicycle pump with a tire pressure gauge on it to power this thing up. This is an old pump I've had for a long time uh, from biking back and forth to school, but it works really really well. And I'll post some video here of my kids launching it um, and just having fun. Thanks for looking. Bye. We are at 90 PSI. Two, All right, ready? In three, two, one. I can't see it. Now I see it. Where? Oh my gosh! There it is.